hockey team is ranked number 10 in the ACHA Division I hockey poll. It also means the Marauders will be the 10th seed for the M1 National Tournament in March. Umary is 25 and 12 in its first season playing in the top division. The transition had some expected bumps in the road. It's been kind of like a little bit up and down. Um, kind of started off the season pretty well and then uh, towards Christmas or right after Christmas um, we kind of hit a little bit of a rough patch but over the last five, six games, I think we've started to come together once again. And I mean, we want to play our best hockey at the right time of the year. So I think we're still itching or inching towards that. The Marauders will play Westchester in the national tournament on March 7th in St. Louis. Minot State is the top seed and Jamestown is number four. They both earned a first round bye. Well, in sports, the ability to play faster is usually better. This week, Ben Dacu shines the spotlight on a century hockey player who has speed on his side. No matter what happens at the state tournament this week, this will be the final kick of the can as a high school hockey player for Century's Ben Leduc. For us seniors, I think we just have a sense, a sense of urgency right now. Um, obviously, we play every game like it's our last because it could be it's playoff hockey, anything can happen, but we're just playing as hard as we can right now. I think there's a point where they realize, uh, you know, this might be the end of my high school career and, and most kids handle it really well. Some kids have a difficult time. It uh, depends on, you know, the timing of things and, and what time of the year it is. But um, I think in the end, there's uh, usually a greater sense of urgency that comes out of the seniors because they want to finish on the right foot. As is the case for most young hockey players, Ben's skill has really developed during his time in high school. One attribute sticks out, his speed. Well, Ben is incredibly fast. He's uh, he's really fun to watch on the ice, and I think uh, you know the last uh, couple years he's learned to use his speed a little bit. You know, I think kids uh, kids have to adjust and play the game a different way, and, and be smart about you know when and where to uh, to accelerate and, and try to get pucks to the net. It helps a lot when he drives the net. You just go to the net, and puck will be there for you. He's always going. Uh, as a player, I like to play fast, and I like to be physical. No, usually I like to lay the body to get the boys going, get some momentum going for the team. That speed will be key if the Patriots are going to compete with the teams from the East. Uh, we know we can use our speed. A lot of us, like from the past couple of years, we learned how to use our speed, so we know we can beat guys wide and get pucks to the net. That separates us from a lot of West teams. The Patriots will match up against Grand Forks Red River in their first game at State and will play them tomorrow. For your news leader, I'm Ben Dacu. A couple of road playoff basketball wins for Dickinson State. The women take care of Valley City. The men win down in Iowa. They will move on in the tournament. And it was.